been 12 years since we began our theater event with the Broadway show of Mamma Mia, honoring Lou Milo. At that time, the St. Francis Food Pantries made a commitment to expand our reach deeper into community-based programming. Whether the economy is doing well or not, New York City's poor and middle class need our assistance and prayers. Income has not risen, and the cost of living has eroded the wages of the working poor. They have to choose between feeding their family, paying their rent, or buying a Metro card to get to work. Second jobs, even third jobs, are no longer available. Food pantries keep families together, alive and healthy. Joe Sano and staff work diligently and represent the church in our efforts. Without Joe, our growth would not be possible. For the past 12 years, our organization has been known for its commitment and dedication to all New Yorkers. Tonight is no exception. We were once a small coalition of feeding programs, food pantries, and shelters. Today, the St. Francis food pantries are recognized throughout the city, giving back at over 30 locations. Our efforts have made a difference. Your involvement makes a difference. In 2011, we assisted over 9,000 families in need. This was not possible without your generosity. The St. Francis Food Pantries and Shelters is a growing non-for-profit organization with a special gift of giving. There are opportunities for everyone watching this video. Whether you have made a donation, would like to serve dinner at the next Thanksgiving Day feast, teach children how to read, or distribute dry goods in one of our centers, we want you. Volunteers are always welcome, and trust me, your first step in giving back will be rewarding. Each year, we look for two honorees that embody our mission and represent our giving culture that reaches beyond their own personal needs. This year's honorees exemplify giving back and are models for the future. I am proud to introduce Ms. Laura Gimbel of Google and Ms. Nula Joya of Cravat, Swain & More. The St. Francis Food Pantries and Shelters live by the motto, it's in the giving that we receive. Having been invited to experience this myself, I'm here to tell you that this is true. Every week, the 30 plus pantries, soup kitchens, and shelters in the network begin the process of making food available to the poor in their communities. Through the money raised here this evening, they are able to purchase food in bulk. Before heading off to work, volunteers rise early in the morning to prepare bags of food to be distributed. And once the bags are organized by family size and needs, the following day, a line begins to form of registered recipients. Again, volunteers come together to distribute food to the poor with compassion and consideration to the unique situation these people find themselves in. We talk a lot about being locally minded, and the volunteers here bring to reality the rhetoric. They are acting locally to support the community right here in New York City. I am proud to support the efforts of the St. Francis Food Pantries and the volunteers who understand the lesson it is in the giving that we receive. May we all be as fortunate to experience this kindness. Hi, I'm Jim Dunahy, Chairman of Structure Tone and member of the St. Francis Theater Committee. Nula Joya is a seasoned veteran who exemplifies a well-balanced leadership style and who fosters a value-based team approach to deliver her projects internationally. This recognition is well-deserved. I would like to introduce Nula and have her explain what makes the St. Francis Food Pantries a leader within our community. Good evening, I'm Nula Joya. Since the inception of this theater gala 13 years ago, the St. Francis Food Pantries has been on the rise, both with people's involvement and the size of the organization. The first year of the theater event, it was estimated that over 100 families were being provided a supplement of food to offset the rising costs that were pinching their wallets. Thanks to the money raised here, to the efforts of the theater committee, to the efforts of Father Francis and Joe Sano, to the efforts of the hundreds of volunteers, this organization has raised more money and expanded even further. The St. Francis Food Pantries and Shelters is a lean organization that uses the money raised at this theater event for the people of the community. And the community in the last 13 years has increased throughout the area. I am proud to say that over 9,000 families are being provided a staple of groceries to supplement their tight budgets. Through shelters, community feeding centers, and feeding programs, the St. Francis Food Pantries and Shelters is now serving over 1.5 million meals a year. 
I am proud to be a part of this wonderful organization and look forward to many more years of this event. For every year we have this theater event, the St. Francis Food, Pantries and Shelters is able to help more and more families. Thank you for your support. I'm Charles Schaffner. Last year, I was honored at this very event. The St. Francis Food Pantries and Shelters is truly a worthy organization making a difference in so many people's lives. Thank you all for coming this evening and supporting the efforts of the Theater Committee, the efforts of countless volunteers, and the efforts of the St. Francis Food Pantries and Shelters. As a reminder to you all, at the end of the play, we ask you to please remain in your seats while Laura and Nula are brought on stage and given this year's St. Francis Award. When I am down and oh my soul so weary When troubles come and my heart burden be can be